Medicare and Medicaid are huge problems because health care costs are rising even as the population is getting older. And so what I've said is that I'm prepared to work with Democrats and Republicans to start dealing with that in a serious way. Obama's health care bill stayed true to his promise to expand Medicaid eligibility. Once primarily only available to pregnant women, children, and the disabled, Medicaid will now cover anybody under the age of 65 with incomes up to 133% of the federal poverty line. But not everybody is happy about it. It's the biggest thing. I mean, our Medicaid program is $1.4 in deficit this year. And uh, because of Obamacare, we can't change the level of benefit that we offer because of the mandates that they put on us. And I think, you know, if we're going to pay for 50% of it, we should have some control over it. And the way this administration has done it, they just want to control all of it. So um, that's the biggest problem for us. On the other hand, Obama has recently proposed $320 billion budget cuts to Medicare and Medicaid in an effort to balance out the deficit. And not everybody is happy about this either. We need the vital therapies that Medicaid provides. We need a generous IDEA budget so people like me with severe disabilities can graduate from high school with a diploma and go to college. Exactly right that you know, the enormous potential that so many people have, uh, if they just get a little bit of help, you know, that has to be factored in when we're making decisions about our budget. Becca Marcarelli for Panther Bites.